Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Last time we left off, we finished up the lake trials. My character model still looks weird in this place. I don't know what that weird outline I have is. Oh well, let's get out of here. So, I don't know what... Oh yeah, 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 no, no, no. We're supposed to go to the Shrouded Ruins, that's right. Now that we have everything to make the red chain. Seems we finished the three lake trials. If I remember correctly, we were told to then head for the Shrouded Ruins. I don't know what could await us there, but I'm always excited to explore some ancient ruins. Let's be on our way. Alright, where exactly- Oh, you're teleporting me there. Okay, cool. This is the place I went to once, right? Shrouded Ruins. Mist is so very good at obscuring things. It's long been said to blur boundaries. If we're to somehow bring together the world of humans, the world of Pokemon, and the world of myth, then maybe we need such a setting such as this. We need a setting such as this. That being said, what are we going meant to do now? Seems like I've made it in time. Showing up only when the time's right, huh? With age comes wisdom, I guess. I had the aid of a rather remarkable Pokemon, if you really wish to know. Right, but how do we make this red chain? I would hardly know. We speak of a divine instrument, one said to be capable of binding the very world. Do you really imagine it can be forged by mortal hands? I actually just realized something. I think I forgot to do a sync test, and I need that to sync the audio with the game, so let me do that really quickly. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we, we gotta do a sync test or my, my audio won't be synced correctly. Do you really imagine it could be forged by mortal hands? Don't know if I read that or not. What are we doing here? We don't have any more time to waste. There's a Pokemon that's gonna do it for us. Ah, you three. Makes sense. Ah, the Pokemon of the lakes. Are you three on this little thing here? Like I said, I see like Regigigas and Arceus. Maybe there's a Dialga and a Palkia on there. Well, there, that, that certainly is a red chain. Wow, it looks crazy. It looks like a bunch of rupees connected together, like red rupees. Bye-bye. So long, farewell. So it was true, the pact our people have kept down for all these generations has been kept. At last I can set this burden aside. Succeeded once again, Quasi. Yet, things do not seem to be going so well for the rest of the world. What's that supposed to mean? Had some news from my fellow merchants in the Ginkgo Guild. Seems that the commander is going to forego waiting for our investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Coronet himself. What's he thinking? Even if he makes it up there, what can he do against a giant rift in space-time? Well, he doesn't yet know that our Quasi has managed to get the red chain, now does he? That's right, we've got to let him know that it'll be alright now that we have the red chain. Even the commander should see reason then and call off this foolhardy plan. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to look at that thing. Because I was thinking, wait, maybe it's the, maybe it's the, uh, the, the, the various Pokemon of the regions, like Wyrdeer and stuff. Maybe that's what was on the thing. Along with Arceus and stuff. Huh? Yep, I'm here. Wait, Quasi, it's you. I can't believe I just let you pass right by. Thank goodness you're still alive. Uh, I mean, of course you are. I knew you'd be all right. Wait one second. I'll go let the captain and the professor know you're back. Yeah, tell them I'm going to be the one to do the deed. And that I don't trust Komodo. Oh, my dear Quasi. Professor, I know you've been worried about Quasi, but there's no need to cry. Uh, I'm not crying. Do not mock your elders, if you please, Ray. And besides, weren't you the one who couldn't get a wink of sleep from all your worrying over our friend? You... you didn't have to tell her that. Just ignore him, Quasi. Anyway, where's Captain Selin? Wasn't she coming with you, Professor? She's buried under a mound of work, I'm afraid. We're to join her in the Survey Corps office. It seems her hands are more than full now that Commander Commodore's gone. Commander's gone? Well, he set out for Mount Coronet with the Security Corps in tow. I'm suspicious as all hell. 
What? Like, I'm super suspicious of Kamado. Why would he go there by himself? Is he like some crazy power maniac that's gonna like try and catch Arceus or something? That's what this makes me think. He's determined to handle this whole space-time rift business himself, including dealing with the Pokémon that's been spotted on the other side. There was also the part of the story where Leventon was like, Avalug's not hurting anybody. I'm a bit suspicious of why the commander wants us to quell Avalug so bad. Did the commander know that quelling the five Pokémon would open the rift and then he would maybe have a chance to catch something crazy? And since I'm such a fine fellow, I took over watching the gate for the Security Corps, folks. Well, we aren't getting anywhere out here. Let's head inside and report to the captain. Okay, you're just gonna teleport me all over the place, right? I don't have free reign in the town yet. Yeah. So you managed not to die, just as I ordered. Well done. Thanks. Thanks to you. And... You were a help, but... Well, Ottoman didn't really do anything, I'm gonna be obvious- I'm gonna be honest. Thanks to you, Captain. I have no idea what you're implying. All I know is Abra vanished of its own accord, inconveniencing me greatly. Oh, <laughs> You like me, Selin. Before moving forward, I must ask. I assume that you are here again because you've managed to learn something of use. I got this red chain. Go on. You see, blah 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 blah. You explained about the red chain you obtained. Legendary tools set to bind the very world. Commander Kamado is no longer here in Jubilife Village. Security Corps has been scouting the area near the space time rift, and they've reported sightings of something on the other side of it. Something that resembled a Pokemon. Mander made the decision to take the Security Corps to the mountains so as to prepare to fend off any possible threat. They were to make for the temple at the peak. The boss may be tough, but it still seems like a bad idea to do something so risky without Quasi's help. As the captain of the Survey Corps, I hereby order you to proceed as follows. Quasi, take that red chain to Mount Coronet, make your way to the peak, and put an end to all this. You are officially reinstated at your former rank. Okay. Let's do it. Are you sure, Captain? The boss isn't around to approve that. I do wonder if this final boss Pokemon is going to be Arceus, or if it's going to be like Dialga, Palkia, or Giratina or something. I don't think it's Giratina, but I can see it being like Dialga or Palkia, I suppose, since that was like, you know, the one of the final quote-unquote encounters in Diamond and Pearl. I don't remember enough about Diamond and Pearl to know if where we actually encountered Dialga and Palkia is on top Mount Coronet or not. I, I feel like it was. If he didn't wish me to decide things in this place, then he should have never left me in charge here. Yeah, that's right. Then all goes well. We're all in this together, we members of the Survey Corps. Naturally, no no one suggested you should not. Alright, let's do it. Let go. Alright. Hi. What's up? You just... Y you just hanging out? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Roof. Something the matter, Lucario? You just have a Lucario, sir? I'm Rai. And you are? Okay, you're Quasi. Nice to meet you. Roof. What is it, Lucario? Grow. I'm Lucario, since you're strong aura, too. You're willing to battle us. Could you come to the training grounds? Steely Lucario, you want to fight me. Okay, battle Lucario at the training grounds. Are there any other new quests here? It says there's a new request here somewhere. I don't see anything else hiding up here, though. Okay, maybe it just means, like, right in front? Maybe the, maybe the dust ox person or something? I don't know. Okay, no, it's... No, new request. Wait, what, was it downstairs, maybe? You know what? Fine. Let's, let's go check. I know this is not the time to be doing this, mind you, but... It says there's a new request in here. Where, though? Oh, down... Yep, it was downstairs. Okay, it's you! 
I forgot there was a downstairs, to be honest. Oh, if it isn't one of our beloved customers, might I trouble you to help me with a little survey work? In my family, we've always passed down tales of some ancestor that lived in a village around the avalanche slopes, but I've never been able to find any hint of any such settlement ever existing. Beginning to doubt the tales are true. Everyone wants to know about where they came from, don't they? So help me out. See if you can find any evidence people ever lived around the avalanche slopes. Traces of a lost village. Okay. Cool. So, let's get out of here then, I guess. Now that we accepted that. And the training grounds was where we had to go specifically to fight this Lucario, correct? Because I'll fight a Lucario. Yep. Let, let go. Um, who do I want? I think I want you in the main party, because Lucario is steel. But this is where you're where you are, right? What? Mission and request. Maybe it's not doable right now. I could just accept it. We get a grit rock. Oh, you're hiding over here for some reason. Okay. Think you're ready for a battle? I'm ready. Then let's forgo the small talk and proceed. Let's go then. What level could you possibly be? Go Decidueye. 62. Okay, you're not that bad. Dragon Pulse. Is Lucario a special attacker? I quite frankly don't know. I love that Triple Arrows gives me another action. It's so nice. Let's do Triple Arrows, and then I'll follow up with an Aura Sphere after that, and that is death for you. God, this UI is so strong. You're so damn strong. Boom. I do, I, I am interested in seeing the other versions of the starters. Like, a lowland, or er, Hisuian Typhlosion? That sounds awesome. Oof. It was a wonderful battle. Seems like we need to redo our training, Lucario. Roo. Thank you for your, thank you for the experience. I can tell you've met many Pokemon and it's helped make you stronger. I think we'll test our skills in other places from now on. Let's meet again. Thank you for the grit, Rock. I appreciate it. Okay, so... We should probably go ahead and use that, right? Um... Who do I want to use? No one is compatible. Yeah, I guess it's too good of an item, huh? Yeah, alright. We'll, we'll go then. You have anything interesting here, shopkeep? Be long for our next great find. Come again. Oh, okay. Can't do anything there. I could change my clothes. Is this what I'm going to walk into the final fight of the game with, looking like this? How much money do I have? Nope, we don't have enough to change it to another outfit. Sorry! <laughs> I could change it to my one that I had at, like, the very beginning of the game, I guess, but, uh... Alright, what's up? I'm assuming this is the final battle of the main game. It's happening here. There you are, Quasi. Hirota's already headed to Mount Coronet. How are things looking here? Commander's already at Mount Coronet. He's already started up the mountain? He must be more reckless than that dignified manner of his lets on. Not that I can blame anyone for wanting to avoid wasting time. Well, alright then. Guess I'm going after him. Let me go first, Quasi. If you were to show up with no warning, there'd probably be a fight. Time's a wasting. See you there. Hmm. Who is the reckless one? Oh, hey, you! Hey, you got run out of the village, right? But you still tried to find a way to help us all? Yeah. yeah you people are rude, but I'm, I'm helping anyway. That's right. Quasi worked hard to get that red chain to help everybody. Too right, and a fine job she did, too. Survey Corps is already hard at work for the sake of everyone here in the village, as well as for the sake of our relations with Pokémon. Thanks. Here, take this. Max revive. Oh, thank you. Cool. Your orders are three. One, make for the summit camp, and from there, the Temple of Sinnoh. Two, use the red chain to solve this mess. Resolve this mess. And three, return here alive. Will do. Alrighty. Let's do it. Yeah, see, there's even a statue of Dialga poised right there. 
Ooh, I wonder if it would be interesting if me choosing who to bring with me, Ottoman or Irida, is what decides who I fight, Palkia or Dialga. That would be a neat way to do it. Huh. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. I wonder if that'll be the case. I've heard the latest, so you've been accepted back into the Galaxy team, have you? I suppose congratulations are in order. Here are some max potions for me to celebrate. Thank you, might need those. Yep. Looks like the big moment is upon us at last. But no doubt it'll be fine. After all, you worked so hard to earn that red chain. Both Ottoman and Irida have headed to the peak as well. My good friend Quasi, I wish you great fortune in the battles to come. I would truly regret losing one of our most beloved and loyal customers. Seems Commodo intends to use the summit camp as a base of operations for this undertaking. As for me, I think I will set up shop closer to the temple itself. Alright, later Volo. Oh hey Melly. Things certainly seem to have gotten out of hand. Well if anything goes wrong, the great Melly will be here for moral support at least. Okay. Thank you. Um, head to Mount Cornet's Peak. I actually don't see you around, Melly. Are you sure you'll be here for emotional support? Or whatever? Okay, I don't think I need to switch up my Pokemon. Uh, we're good on items, I believe. I think we're just good to go. Let's get up there, why don't we? Um, can I Sneasler onto this and then get a higher perch to fly from? That would be nice. Uh, whoops, wrong one. There we go. Yeah, so we came up here way earlier, because I beat up that Electrovire. And yeah, this is the place they told me I wasn't allowed to go into. Alright, let's see what's up here. Oh, cool, I can't actually ride you in this cave. Hello? Are you the the person that makes the mochi? What are you doing here, Benny? Uh, wow. Oh ho, still alive and kicking. Sorry about having to shutter the wallflower. I'd much rather be there now, serving up some freshly grilled potato mochi. That Taskmaster Commodo has gone and left me to oversee our food supply. He always finds a way to put these old bones to work. While I'm handling that, I suppose I'll handle you as well. Time to get rid of you once and for all. <laughs> what? <laughs> I would have never expected Benny to be, like, evil. Could you have just poisoned our food at some point? Are you serious? <laughs> I'll make myself plain. As Commodore's right hand... I'm Charged with executing all the gritty deeds Commodore Cantor won't do himself. Gave him my word I'd get rid of any fools in my dream of getting in the way of his plans. And besides, it's not just Commodore who longs to live in a new home free of fear or strife. His dream is mine now, too. Seen my smoke bombs before, right? Well, this is how you're meant to use them. Whoa, you're actually a ninja. I heard you managed to quell those nobles one after another. Oh, did it make my blood run hot and my heart pound. Last at last. One final opponent worthy of my great ninja techniques that have been left to molder all these long years. Okay, your outfit's kind of dope, I'm not gonna lie. I want a ninja outfit. Galaxy Team's Benny challenged you to battle. Yeah, cause this... So is this where the Galaxy Team started? Like... Team Galaxy or whatever, the, the antagonists of Diamond and Pearl, right? That is where Galaxy was, right? I'm not getting mixed up with another one. Let me let me check really quickly. Um Diamond and Pearl Team Oh no, Team Galactic was their name. Galaxy was was that the black and white ones? No, 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 it's just called Team Galactic. I wonder if they turned into Team Galactic from Galaxy. I could have swore one of the team names was Galaxy. But maybe I just am misremembering because of this game. You have a Miss Magus. Interesting choice for a ninja. I thought you'd have like a Shedinja or something. 
Maybe you still will. Extra sensory is pain. Okay, that sucks. Uh, I can't hit you with any of my fighting moves. It wasn't the best idea to lead with you, but I didn't know what you were going to send out, so... Let's just use a strong style Brave Bird, I guess. Because we, yeah, we can't hit you with our triple arrows, so... Strong style Brave Bird. Miss Magus isn't very tanky defensively, so this might still one hit. Ah, almost. Almost. Used a max potion. And you got another action after. Damn. Okay, Benny. I'm interested in having, like, a, a real trainer fight here. This is fun. Because most of the trainer fights we've done are jokes, so... Let's, uh, hit you with a crunch. If I do a speed style crunch, then I can follow up with a normal style. Or agile style crunch, sorry. If that doesn't kill you, this one will. Get him, Rampardos. You monstrosity, you. Cool. This is also the benefit of me, uh, oh no, you're gonna, and I, wait, you don't have a fighting move? Why are you just quick attacking me? Oh my god! Wait, you just got three actions in a row? I guess that's why you used quick attack. Jeez. Okay, real fight. I feel like it's definitely more real because I'm not particularly properly leveled for this. Um, Garchomp, maybe? Really level 48. Let's see, you, you know quick attack and close combat. Drillflim might be a good bet here. Because you can't hit me with most of what you've got. So, I could extra sensory your ass. Um, yeah, agile style changes nothing. Let's see if I can just kill you, because this is psychic. You're poison and fighting, so this is gonna be four times effective. This should kill. Right? Oh yeah, it's super dead. Bye-bye, Sneasler. Go sneeze somewhere else. Gardevoir, huh? Don't you dare set up on me with a Gardevoir, please. Can I get an action? Psychic? Nope. Sure can't. Okay, there we go. So, I can Shadow Ball your ass. Do big damage. Agile style, once again, doesn't really change anything. I Shadow Ball you. You have increased defenses, so this probably isn't going to kill. But it'll hurt. A lot. And your defense stats will return to normal. Okay, you're gonna get two actions. He's using an agile psychic. That's fine. You did good, Driflin. You did good. That'll do, Blimp. That'll do. Let's send Garchomp in. I think Garchomp may be able to finish you off. I don't think you'll be able to, to one-hit him. Her, at least. <laughs> uh, Iron Head. Oh wait, yeah, you're fairy, so yeah, iron, uh, Steel is super effective against you. This was a good choice. Boom. Alright, Garchomp, good job. Yeah, what's with this weird outline that we have in certain areas? Glade. Drain Punch. Okay, what am I gonna do against you? Mm. Garchomp honestly isn't the best option here. Um, move has a heightened chance of landing a crit. Let's, let's go for Dragon Claw. Hopefully you don't just keep Drain Punching me. You are going to just keep Drain Punching me. How much did that heal you? Okay, I'm gonna hope that a... No, let's not even use Dragon Claw. Let's use Outrage, because it does more damage. Ah, uh, but Dragon Claw has a higher chance of critting. And I can do a Power Style with it. I can't do Power Style with Outrage. Alright. Strong Style. Damn it. <laughs> One hit. Oh, you barely survived. How dare you? That's... I really thought that was going to kill. It sucks that it didn't, because now you've set up a little bit. I am not going to get swept by this Gallade, damn it. Um, let's see. Bug flying would probably be a good option here. Let's go with that. And Mega, I'm down to two Pokemon. Luckily, this is your last. 
To play it safe, I'm just gonna use Silver Wind because it doesn't have a chance to miss. I could just air slash. Let's just let's just play it safe with the Silver Wind. I'm pretty sure that'll kill. There we go. If something went wrong, I could. There's a chance I got the Omni Boost too. No, that's right, Benny. Seems my ninja techniques will soon be consigned to history. Can't believe you were revealed as being like one of the fat guys. The stupid guy that serves us food, really. <laughs> Very good, young one. Very good indeed. It's only a foolish ninja who tries to keep after a target they know they cannot beat. And to be honest, I don't hate you. I'd actually like you after a fashion, at least for the skill you show in battle. Listen well, Quasi. Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. Kamado and I saw our hometown burned to the ground by maddened Pokemon running amok. We lost plenty of friends and comrades that day. Why Kamado, Kamado came here to Asui to try and build a new home where people could live free from fear. But to achieve something truly great, you sometimes have to take extreme actions. Ugh. If hypothetical as it may be, a Pokemon were to appear from, when that, from within that space-time rift, Kamado might lose hold of his reason. Save Kamado from himself, by force if you must. Do that, and I'll stuff you full of more delicious potato mochi than the human stomach can handle. Yeah, I kind of like your design, Benny. I'm going to be honest. You look kind of like a sick badass. Oh, cool. You're even nice enough to heal up my Pokemon. How nice of you. All right. Yeah, I mean, you couldn't beat me. Okay, so we can get a look at this. So, yeah, that's Lilligant in the bottom right. Uh, there's Wire, Wire Deer. There's, yeah, there's Basca Legion. There's Avalug. Okay, so that's what these are. And then we have what appears to be Arceus up in the top right. Reggie Gigas, I think, is the second one from the left at the top. I think that's like Dialga, possibly? Hmm. Yeah, okay, but I, I recognize these down here are the the, the, the special Pokemon in the area. Yeah. Or maybe that's Cleavor instead of Lilligant. I think it's Lilligant, though, because I see green at the bottom. I don't know. Let's go. Bunch of iron chunks for me. Do I, do I want to lead with Yanmega? Sure, we'll lead with Yanmega. My fast boy. Alright. Let go. Hello, Volo. Are you going to sell me some last-minute things? This is it. Have you bought everything you need? I think I'm good. I don't have money anyway. <laughs> I haven't really needed to use items that much in battle. You've brought the red chain? Fozzie, you're the only one who can stop whatever is unfolding atop the mountain. Pokemon... The Pokemon that... That Pokemon that's apparently been sighted through the rifts. I... I think it may be Almighty Sinnoh. Commander Kamado stopped us from heading toward the temple. Well, I'll stop him. How about that? Talk sense into Commander Kamado. Look, dude, I know you had loss and everything, but that doesn't mean you need to do this shit. Hey, Zizu. Oh, I can't get to you. Oh, you have your armor on! That's so cool! <laughs> you again. I've heard that this red chain of yours will bind the world. I assume that to bind the world means to hold the world together, keeping it as it's meant to be. Yeah, so no rifts open. A welcome idea, but can I truly put my faith in such tales? Although I imagine the distortion things will still spawn after we finish the game, because uh, we need to be able to get the Pokemon in there. Trust me. What do you th Oh, she's sorry. <laughs> My brain just stopped working for a second. What? Do you think even the red chain is some trick on Quasi's part? She worked mightily to get that thing, and I should know. I was with her the whole time. I saw her rise to the trial set by the three Pokemon of the lakes. If she somehow concocted all of that on her own, then what hope do we have anyway? Perhaps you are right. If I were to simply place my faith in this girl and that face were to be betrayed, then how could I possibly face my people? Then work together with us. Should something go wrong, I'll take complete responsibility.
Fine. Enough. Let fate decide what happens next. Which Whichever of us is stronger will prevail. Of course, that's where you're gonna go. Face me with your Pokémon, Quasi. Today we battle in earnest. Let's go, then. Real Pokémon battle, let's go. You only have four. So, you're, you're, it's still not super real, but you're probably gonna be higher level than me, so... Braviary, huh? I don't know what typing Hisuian Braviary is, but, uh... I'm imagining my bug is not going to be able to do much to you. Um... Well, we do have Ancient Power. You're probably going to annihilate me with whatever you hit me with, though. If only I could... Damn it. You must be really fast if an Agile-style Ancient Power doesn't give me an extra turn. Um... You'll get two actions if I do that. I'm just gonna do a regular Ancient Power. Eat it, dork. Esper Wing. Okay, that must be a Psychic attack. I thought you would probably be Psychic. And that also must have been a Pryo attack. Okay, cool. Good to know. Well, um... Let's see, if you're Psychic, yeah, we have that with Rampardos. Let's see, Drifblim? Let's go Drifblim. Let's go Drifblim. I think you've got this. Alright, so... Thunderbolt or Shadow Ball? Probably Shadow Ball, just to make sure I get the kill here. We don't Agile style, style one even, and I'm pretty sure I'd still get the kill. If I don't, it's fine. I don't know if this actually sets me up to get another action once you send your next Pokémon in or what. I'm not totally sure how that works. But if it does work that way, I would rather do that, since it's pretty much a guaranteed kill. A Golem. And using a strong style rock slide, that's probably death. Yeah. Okay. Um, Rampardos then. Seems to be my next best bet here. Yeah, I feel like having my Pokemon be such low level at least makes this a bit more of a real fight. Uh, yeah, just Iron Head it. We get two actions because Golem is slow as a rock. And uh, it's going to take two actions to kill you because that physical defense is high. Out of here. What you got now? Snorlax. Yeah, I've only seen one of those. High horsepower. Really? Hmm. What do we want? Flying with Gliscor, I guess? Would probably be our best bet. Let's send in Gliscor. At least you're actually the same level as this damn thing. Um... What do we want to use here? X Scissor has a high chance of landing a crit. Mud Bomb obscures me. I think I want to do a Mud Bomb, an Agile one, and then I'll get two actions next turn. Cool. I'm now obscured. Giga Impact, please miss. Ha ha ha! Get wrecked, nerd! Oh boy, get wrecked. Okay, um... X Scissor? Uh, I don't want to use a strong style. We'll just use a regular X Scissor. I have two actions here. Snorlax is also slow as a rock. Life score is no longer obscured. Maybe do another Mud Bomb so I'm obscured again? We missed. Damn it. It was a 15% chance. Well, you're hitting this time. That's fine, though. Um... X Scissor again? You don't really have a lot of good stab moves on you. Gliscor is your main issue. Okay, there we go. Alright, you have one Pokemon left. Clefable. Um, well, I do have Poison. Poison is what's effective against it. Shit, I'm sorry, I'm not super familiar with Fairy. Yeah, yeah, Poison's super effective. Um... You're gonna get two actions after this. You're setting up on me. A agile style changes nothing. I think I'm gonna die either way, so just strong style it, by score. Boom, boom, boom. It's not gonna kill, but we got close. And you're poisoned, good shit. I'm using a max potion. I guess you do have the opportunity to, because, yeah. Okay. Because I used the strong style, so you had two actions. Makes sense. Garchomp, get in there, I guess. What could 
I don't think Clefable could do anything to you. Unless this Clefable has like Ice Beam or something. Oh, but you're also- but shit, you're Fairy! And you're Dragon! Okay, but I have two actions, so we're good. Yep. Almost made a mistake there, but uh... Iron Head go burr. There we go. Good job, Garchomp. That thing was way higher level than you. That's right. No matter how cool your armor looks, you can't beat me. Any Pokemon that threatens our life here must be eliminated. Good XP. Good XP. Good level up. We truly are a force to be reckoned with. Damn right I am. Oh, you're doing the thing! Quasi. The fates have decided, I concede, and I apologize sincerely for doubting you. Please just don't Hirakiri yourself. We don't need that, okay? I'll take the prostrating, but no Hirakiri. Commander. I know I have no right to ask it of you any longer, but please use that strength of yours for the sake of the Galaxy Expedition Team. No, for the sake of the Celestica people and all of the Pokémon living in Hisui. Will do. Glad I didn't have to crack your head. Don't you worry, Commander. We've got the red chain. And a random lady told us it would work, so it must work. No random lady would go on the internet and lie. Bring the red chain to the dais. The dais? I, I, I forget which, which pronunciation. It probably doesn't matter. Commander's headed to the temple, but I fear the situation's already beyond our control. Alright. Well, let's go. I'm ready to defeat whichever legendary I need to. Oh, yeah, here we go. There's Cleavor. It's actually the Pokemon that's said to have been loyal to the ancient hero. Lyardeer, Cleaver, Ursaluna, Lilligant. I still don't know how to get you, and I still want you. Ask a Legion. Uh... Where are you? Statue of one of the Pokemon that was said to have been like- Oh, that's just Electrode. Okay, sorry, the, the weird lightning bolt on the bottom, I was like, What is this, some kind of dandelion? <laughs> it looked like a dandelion to me, I'm like, what is this weird grass type? But no, it's uh, it's it's the Electrode, like, riding electricity, okay. And yeah, there's Sneasler, Avalug, and of course you. So wow, the ancient hero could carry eight Pokemon with them at once. That's pretty OP. I can only carry six. Alright, what's up? It's time to use the red chain. Let's see what it can do. Hold on a sec. My head. Something's talking inside my head. Shit, I just realized. If I'm going to fight Dialga, I would want to lead with uh, Decidueye. Decidueye would be very effective. Uh huh. You hold the red ch chain. Try to catch me then, human. Adamon, what are you saying? What do you mean, catch you? Oh, Almighty Sinnoh? I- I think Almighty Sinnoh just spoke to me. Gotta be Dialga. It's telling me. You hold the red chain. Try to catch me then, human, for the fight to come. Take these. Ten Ultra Balls? Oh, wait, I actually am gonna catch it? I thought you meant, like, I don't know, catch you in a race or something, not literally catch you. <sighs> Alright. Let's do it. Thanks for the 10 Ultra Balls, I guess. Is it who I think it is? Yes, it is. <laughs> Hello. This is fine with me. I always liked Dialga more than Palkia anyway, so... Please don't roar of time, my ass. I would prefer for that not to happen. I'm sure you have it, since it's your unique skill. Are you just gonna break it? Or is it actually gonna work? You just broke it. My rupees were useless. Alright. Let's go! It's always so hype when you're fighting a Legendary. Okay, I did lead with the Sidui. Good. Alright, Dork. Earth Power. 
Owie. My defensive status were lowered, that's not good, but I can triple arrow your ass. If I do an Agile style, I'll get to go again. Kablooey, bluey, bluey! Bam, bam, bam! Okay, that was pretty good. Defensive stats were lowered, so Jawai's getting pumped. Ooh, listen to this music! Listen to this music! Um, would Aura Sphere kill you? I imagine I actually do want to try and catch you here, right? So I don't want to kill you. I was gonna use another triple arrows. Bang, bang, bang. Oh no! Crit! Damn it! <laughs> I crit! No! <laughs> Talk about unlucky, man. This is why you save before you catch these things. You try to catch these things. Out of there, regroup! I crit him, damn it! <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to throw a Pokeball. Remember what I said, what that Pokemon said to me? It was saying, try to catch me. Hmm, if you have the strength to defeat it, surely you'll be able to catch it as well. Oh, okay, so they're gonna give me another chance. Remember what I said, uh, uh, try to catch me. Mm, if you have the strength to defeat it, time to catch the Pokemon. Yeah. Okay, sorry, just... I don't know, don't have me crit this time. Preferably. <laughs> Alright, hopefully your catch rate isn't as high as it is in the other games. Excuse me, what did that say? Gyubuga? Gyubuga? Yeah, I guess that is about right, huh? Gyubuga! Roar of time, there it is. Owie! Okay, well you led with that this time. Let's Aura Sphere you. Okay, a bit better there. Let's... I don't have a weak enough attack to reliably hit you with. Okay, Ultra Ball, go burr. Let's go. In the ball, please. God, I swear if your catch rate... It can't be as high as it was in the other game- in the, in the games, right? I'd be here for like a, a, a an hour, just trying to catch you. They must have lowered the catch rate. Especially since I just have Ultra Balls. I don't even have a Master Ball. Um, alright, so you're down. Uh... Let's throw in Gliscor, I guess. You can probably hit and not kill. Yeah, let's do a Slash. You're Steel, so... Don't crit, please. Slash was a horrible option, actually. Don't Slash again. That, that was a bad idea. Um... I really don't need a crit here. Of course, that did, like, no damage, so I think even if I crit, it wouldn't kill. I think even a crit would not kill here. Yeah, see, that was a crit. Okay, now you're in red. We're good. Ha ha ha, you missed, idiot. Alright, Pokeball, go! Where's my Master Ball? What, what would you even make a Master Ball out of? Or a Calcum? In. Yeah! Yeah, they definitely lowered that catch rate. Either that, or I just got absurdly lucky. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like it wanted to be caught, so... At least we got to see what happens if I murder it instead of catch it. She caught it. Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal. The red chain is shattered, but we owe the Pokémon of the Lakes our thanks for getting us this far. Oh, well done, Quasi, my girl. Masterfully handled. I was watching the whole time as you battled and caught your way to a simply stunning victory. Truly are the pride of the Survey Corps. Poor Ray. <laughs> it's all because she had me to show her the ropes when she first got here. Yeah. Yeah, keep telling yourself that, Ray. Smile through the pain. Wait, it's happening again. I can hear Almighty Sinnoh. No, no, it's called Dialga. Mighty Dialga is speaking to me in my mind. Space time is torn. Awful power spills forth. The frenzied one comes to fight. Now, human. The frenzied one. Is Palkia going to be frenzied? Fight it with me. You're telling me there's another one? But the red chain smashed to bits. No way even Quasi could tackle another Pokemon as strong as that last one now. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. So is this Palkia or is it Giratina? That would be Palkia. 
So yeah, Palkia's nuts. So I imagine it's flipped if I chose to bring Irida. Palkia would have joined me and I would be fighting Diaga. So, problem. I don't remember what typing you are. Uh-huh. What, I think we can take it. It's just like a kaiju, it's fine. Well, it's not big enough to be a kaiju. Whale Lord's a kaiju. A gagya gagya. <laughs> gagya gagya gagya. <laughs> All of you, you must vacate this. Oh, forget the fancy talk. Book it, come on. We gotta make it to the summit camp while we still can. We need to leave before this other almighty Sinnoh decides it wants to fight us. But Commander, we can't just leave it here. You dunce! You won't- you won't be of any use to anybody if you die up here on this mountain. <laughs> okay, you're abandoning all the fancy talk for real. What are you waiting for? I'm telling you, we gotta get gone. <laughs> I like that Kamado is now abandoning the fancy talk. Okay, so what now? Such dreadful power, it's certainly beyond our current capabilities to survey such a creature. I'm amazed you even managed to stay on your feet before it, Quasi. It's these shoes. Did you notice the energy pouring out of the rift? It seems likely that a buildup of the same energy was what caused the strange lightning that threw that Pokemon, noble Pokemon into their frenzied states. Can't believe there really were two Almighty Sinnoh after all. Guess that means neither of our clans was really wrong, huh? I must apologize from the bottom of my heart. To the both of you as fellow leaders, you saw the truth that I could not. You never abandoned your trust in Quasi. And to you, Quasi, I acted on ill-considered presumptions and drove you from the Galaxy Expedition Team, forcing you to face great hardship alone. Despite all that, you still strove to save all of Hisui. So, at least you actually didn't have, like, an evil plan. It's just because you have a bit of trauma, so you're a bit scared of Pokémon. Well, it's not like we could just sit back and ignore the space-time rift. And we understood, Commander, that you had reasons to act as you did. Yeah, I get it more so now than when I thought you were just evil. Commander, might I suggest we return to the matter at hand? We've left things in quite a state up at the temple. That's the stuff, Mr. Professor. You'd rather face what's in front of us than dwell in the past, huh? Just what I'd expect from a real scientist. Dependable attitude indeed. Yes, let us move on. No need to speak any further about my rash actions. Not to mention my loss of composure. <laughs> yeah, when you when you switch to a different accent. Usually when characters talk like that in these games, I believe it's a specific Japanese accent that's supposed to be like the more country accent, I guess, in using like American terms, because people say countries like talking like, howdy y'all, and all that, so... I think that's what it's supposed to be. It's a different kind of accent. I've seen it in anime and stuff before. Usually when you hear a character talking like that, it's supposed to be a different kind of accent, a specific kind. I don't remember what region, though. Seems that having Quasi is about has been a good influence on us all. On all. Yeah, thank goodness you were here, huh? We've had, we'd have had, we had no chance getting through this disaster without you. We're still not through it. How is she to keep fighting? The red chain is shattered. Relax, I've got a plan, thanks to what almighty- to what mighty Dialga told me. Dialga? The Pokémon that spoke to you? Yeah, and along with its name, it also told me what we need. The Stone of Creation's Beginning. The Chain of Red. The Vessel of Humankind's Intervention. Until these three- Unite these three and calm the chaos now pervading space. And finally, mighty Dialga said it wants to go with us back to the temple. Well, the red chain we have, at least. The pieces, anyway. I did collect them. The Vessel of Humankind's Intervention. I dare say that might refer to a Pokeball. It's gotta be it. What about the Stone of Creation's beginning part? Leon might have some idea. He's knowledgeable about stones and minerals. He even goes digging for ore sometimes. Is that so? Then Warden Leon will be a fine res resource to consult. And what about your thoughts, Professor Leventon? Do you have any idea what the stone could be? Stone of creation? Oh, upon my word, perhaps I do! Quasi, my girl, could you lend me those plates you received from Wyrdeer and the others? The ones that Volo said had messages engraved upon them. Oh yeah, the plates. Yeah, stone's creation, that makes sense. I was thinking it had something to do with Arceus, specifically because it talked about creation. 
Aha, just as I remembered, here on the back of the Earth plate it says, When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. I think this may be a hint to what we need. How do you mean? Don't you see? We must search for stone, or rather ore, I suppose, that shares the same material properties as these plates. In fact, I believe that young Leon might know just where to find such a thing. As, he's, as he said, he'd been investigating it at Volo's urging. Now that you mention it, that Volo fellow has come around the Diamond Settlement asking about these plates before, too. Wait, is Volo going to be our big bad? <laughs> I think Volo's just curious. That seems like a lead worth following. It's decided then. Thus begins our search for the Stone of Creation's beginning. I don't really think we're going to have a big bad at this point. I kind of thought it was setting up for Commodo to have like a heel turn, but no. Although the name is a rather a mouthful, wouldn't it? Wouldn't you say? I suppose we call it Origin War. The counterpart. Irida, may we ask for your clan's aid once more? Of course. I'll call Leon at th to the summit camp at once. Wow, this is all cutscene, huh? Wait as long as anyone could reasonably expect. My invitation just never came. Oh. Whoops. So I decided to honor you all with an unsolicited visit. Be glad and rejoice. You were off screen. I didn't see you, so I thought it was Ottoman talking. Now, Ottoman, I see all these other louts have their little tasks to be getting on with, but what of the great Meli? Where's my role? I'm your leader, Meli. Show a shred of respect, would you? Fine, whatever. Just hurry up and give me a job, great leader Ottoman, and make it a good one. You want a job? Fine, your job is to support the others. All the other wardens are busy looking after the nobles and keeping the people of our clans from panicking. Take a hint. Oh, Ottoman. Oh, 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 you silly, foolish boy. Don't you understand anything? Everyone has work they are suited to and work they are not. And why are you a warden? And oh, before I forget, it seems you aren't entirely useless after all, Galaxy Team Grunt. I kinda don't like you. Well done, you. Take this as a reward for your adorable efforts. Just my way of encouraging the little people. And you're all so little compared to me. <sighs> Candy truffles. Thanks, gee. I brought Leon. Yeesh, that ugly hat suits you as poorly as this important role does. I don't like this at all. I should be the one consulted for my wisdom. Zoe's ores and stones are her precious resource. Since I was the first to realize the fact that fact, it's only natural that I should be the first consulted. You have a problem with that? Perhaps you'd like to take it up with Cleavor in battle? With that bumbling ball of yours? Excuse me, that bumbling ball is more than capable of zapping both you and that ugly bug of yours all the way back to your stupidly oversized tree. Shall we prove it to you now? Melly, give it a rest and play nice with the pro clan folks for me, would you? Bigger things are at stake here. But Ottoman... Everyone back home is all worked up about the fact that you were spoken to by Almighty Sinnoh. Or Mighty Dialga or whatever. This is the Diamond Clan's day, be proud. Warden Leon, if you would. Certainly. And let us get out of here. We make for the primeval grotto. Okay. There we go. Head for the place where you obtain origin ore. Which is apparently... Somewhere? There's a new request over here. Okay, yeah, primeval grotto right there. Cool. Alright, well, we're definitely going to go ahead and end this episode off here, so I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus, and I'll see you next time.